Today, we have such a great episode. We are making a requested recipe from one of my patrons, Dr. Michael Barbitz. He requested that I make ceviche. Now here in Spain, ceviche is not very popular. In fact, I've never seen it at a restaurant or the supermarket, but regardless, it's still such an amazing seafood dish and one of the culinary gifts to the food world from the Peruvian kitchen. Yes, you heard that correctly. Ceviche originates from Peru, not Mexico like most people think. Anyways, to make this recipe, I'm gonna add in a few new ingredients to give the ceviche a beautiful lift of Spanish goodness. Folks, this recipe is so easy to make, comes together in about 40 minutes and promises to be one of the best ceviches you will ever taste. First thing we're gonna do is grab four limes and squeeze them into a sieve with a large bowl underneath. This is gonna equal about half a cup of fresh lime juice. Now when I'm making ceviche, I prefer to hand squeeze the limes and the lemons into the bowl instead of using an electric or handheld juicer as it guarantees that none of that white pith goes in there which gives the ceviche a bitter flavor and at the end completely destroys it. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab one lemon and squeeze it into the bowl. This is gonna equal about a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. Moving on, I'm gonna add in half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar. This is what gives this ceviche that incredible touch of Spanish flavors. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This is gonna help soothe out some of the acid from the citrus and one teaspoon of agave syrup. You can substitute this for honey. Once again, this is just to soothe out all the acid from the citrus and give this ceviche an incredible balance. And I'm gonna whisk everything together until it's well mixed. All right, let's move on to the star of the show, the shrimp. I've got 12 jumbo shrimp here. These are raw, peeled, and deveined. I bought these frozen and thawed them out. Now, typically when you're making ceviche, you wanna use fresh seafood, but since we're in a pandemic, it's very hard to get the freshest stuff. So the second best thing, buy frozen and thawed out. I'm gonna pat the shrimps completely dry with some paper towels. and cut the shrimps into pieces that are between half an inch thick to a quarter inch thick. We'll add the cut shrimp into the bowl with the lime and lemon juice mixture. And we'll give this a quick mix until everything's well combined. This is such an important step when you're making ceviche. You want that lime and lemon mixture to be coating each piece of shrimp. I'm gonna cover it with some saran wrap and add it into the fridge. While the shrimps are cooking in that lime and lemon mixture, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm gonna finely dice half of a red onion. Roughly chop half of a cucumber. I like to leave the skins on the cucumber as it gives it a better flavor. Roughly chop one large tomato, a handful of fresh parsley. This is gonna equal about two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. Roughly chop a handful of fresh cilantro. Once again, this is gonna equal about two tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. And for the final ingredient, grab half of an avocado and chop it into small pieces. Okay, let's move back to the shrimp in the lime and lemon juice mixture. It's been in the fridge for exactly 20 minutes. I'm gonna remove them from the fridge. Add the finely diced onions into the bowl. The roughly chopped cucumber. The roughly chopped tomato. Finely shredded one large clove of garlic. The two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. The two tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. And our chopped avocado. I'm gonna season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper and give this a mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together.
Once again, I'm gonna cover the bowl with some saran wrap and add it into the fridge for about 10 minutes. While our mixture is in the fridge, I'm gonna make some homemade pita chips to dip into this ceviche. I'm gonna be adding in some pita bread into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. What I did here is I grabbed a couple pieces of pita bread and cut them into triangles. I'm gonna drizzle the pita bread with some extra virgin olive oil and season them generously with sea salt. That way they have that traditional texture and flavor as a tortilla chip. And I'm gonna add these into a preheated oven, 250 degrees Celsius, which is about 475 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave them in there between seven to eight minutes. All right, let's move back to our ceviche. I'm gonna take it out of the fridge. It's been in there for exactly 10 minutes and a total time of 30 minutes in the fridge. Using a slotted spoon, I'm gonna transfer the ceviche into a serving bowl. You wanna use a slotted spoon here, that way you don't add too much of that acidic juice into your ceviche. Once all the ceviche is in the serving bowl, I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of the citrus mixture. This is just to make sure that the ceviche doesn't dry out. And check it out, our Spanish style ceviche is done, served next to some beautiful homemade pita chips. This came out looking so beautiful. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to try this ceviche. It came out looking so delicious. Here we go. Those pita chips are so good. But the star of the show here is that ceviche. It has a mind blowing, so many great flavors, such basic ingredients that you put them together in this exact way and it's the perfect balance of goodness. But most importantly, those shrimps are perfectly cooked or cured in that lime and lemon juice. That sherry and vinegar gives it a nice undertone. You know, if you're kind of creeped out about using raw shrimp here, you can parboil them for about two minutes and cut that lime juice in half and you'll be good to go. But trust me, do it in this technique. It is so good. The shrimps are so tender and beautiful. You know, I've had a lot of these ceviches when I was in California and it's some good stuff. But this one right here takes it to the next level. Make it at home. You're going to absolutely love it. Enjoy it with a cold Spanish beer. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.